In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project using the slide templates. Okay, so let's take a look at how to create a project using the pre-built templates. Now, once you have a new project open, you're going to hit the plus button here. And the first option you're going to have is add animated slide from collection. So we're going to click that here. And you should have a bunch of slides in here. Now, I have probably a lot more than you do, but you should have plenty in here as well. I'm going to choose this particular one here called Weight Loss Female. And if you notice on the right hand side, you've got Cancel, Add Pack, and Add Single. Now, Add Single would be to add one of these slides. If we choose one of these, we could, we could hit Add Single and add that in. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add all of these in into a project by hitting Add Pack. Okay, so now once we get back into here, you'll see in our timeline up here that we've got all of these already laid out, ready to be used. Okay, so now all we have to do is go in and change each one to meet our needs. So in this case, we've got a picture of an overweight lady and it says meet Emma. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Emma is not happy with the way she looks. Again, perfectly fine. We'll leave that the way it is. Until she discovered, okay, again, we can leave that the way it is. And now we get to your service, your logo. So this is where we can actually start to make some changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this here. We're going to come over here and we're going to hit text. Now in here, you're going to see that there are three text areas. The first one says your service. The second one says your logo. And the third one says your motto. And those coincide with the animations here, your service your logo, and your motto. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to area number one, and we're going to give it our product a name. We're going to call it uh, Fat Burner 2.0. <laughs> okay. So now if we play this back, you're going to see that it now says Fat Burner 2.0. Okay. So there's our product. For part two, we're going to put in our logo. Um, now, obviously, I don't have a logo for Fat Burner 2.0, so we're going to make something up here. Okay, so Fat Burner. And then for the low motto, we're just going to put uh, Lose Weight Today. Okay, so now if we hit Play, you'll see that our three text areas, although I spelled that wrong, have changed. Okay. And of course, if we make a spelling error like that, all we have to do is come in here, quickly make a change, and you can see it changes right there on our screen as well. Now we have an area for a logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the image area here, and you can see that we've got the background image, and we've got image area one. Okay, and if we come over to outline, you'll be able to see that this is the background, and this is image area one. Okay. So if we come back here, what we can now do is go to image area one, and we can change this by either uploading something from our computer. So if we do have a logo, we can upload it here. We can use our gallery, or we can remove what we've already put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit gallery, and we're going to just pick something that uh, works with fat burner. So we're just going to say, oh, this uh, doctor here is the actual logo. So we're going to add him in here by hitting add image. And you can see now he appears inside our little circle. So if we play this again, Fat Burner 2.0, Fat Burner, and our doctor inside of there as well. And he, notice he is animated. So you can add all of those types of things in there. Again, if you had a logo, you could put a logo inside that circle as well. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can come over to the next one. And so now we've got your service, and again, your logo. So let's say we've decided, you know what, these two don't make any sense for us to use. So we're going to remove the service and the second logo just by clicking those little X's. So now we can come to our services and we can put in all the services that we offer based on this. So we can pause this right here so we can see them. We can start with text area one. Our services can stay. Then we can come into here and we can say uh, lose weight in two weeks. Okay, we go to the next one and we can change this one as well. Look better fast. Um, learn 
to keep weight off. And the final one can be feel better. Okay, and so now we've got our next slide. So now let's see what we've got for the next one here. It says, right now there is no reason not to take action. Again, we can leave that the way it is. Okay, here, present your portfolio. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this here. We're going to go back to our texts here. You can see text area one. We'll just put uh, before and after. Okay, and then we can go over to image, and you can see image area number one. And what we can do is we can add a picture of a before and after. Now, I don't have one, so we're just going to hit browse, and we're just going to pick a random picture. So this is, uh, oh, these ladies here. This is going to be our before and after. Obviously, it's not a before and after, but you get the idea. So there you go. Now, notice that it doesn't quite fit inside of our box here, and that's okay because we can actually adjust that afterwards if we want to. But we can leave that the way it is. Let's play this and see what it looks like. Okay, before and after. Okay, so now we can move on here. We're, now Emma is slim and happy again. She, with the way she looks, everybody should know her story. Okay, so she's happy with the way it looks. We're just a click away. So we can leave that the way that is. We can move on to the next one. And it says, now Emma is slim and happy. She likes the way. So we want to choose one of these two. So we're going to get rid of this one here. And then we're going to go to our last one. And our last one says our website, our logo, and then it has our information for social media. So we're going to pause that here. And what we can do is we can again come over to our text area. And you can start down here if we want. And we can change the email address. We're not, I'm not going to put an email address in there for now. We'll just leave that. But we can come here and we can say youtube.com slash uh, fat loss, whatever it happens to be. Okay. And image area number two, facebook.com slash fat loss. And of course, with the website could be uh, you know, fatloss.com or whatever it happens to be. And then we can come into the image area. And once again, we've got our logo area. So we can go to our gallery and we could choose our doctor again and put him in there so we can add image. Oops. Uh, actually, we made a little goofy here, didn't we? we? Put him in the background. And that's one thing I, I should probably show you is that you can change the background just as easily as our, our image area. And of course, when we make a mistake like that, we can hit remove. Then we can hit image area, hit gallery, grab our doctor again, hit add image, and there you go. Now our doctor's in the circle. So we can play this last one here. There you go. So that's how you can quickly and easily create an entire project right from the pre-built templates. And once we're done with this, of course, we can do a few different things. And we should probably show these off to you. One, you can add audio to the project. And of course, you can create your video. Now, if we hit add audio, you can see that you can add voice here, which means you can record your voice or you can browse and upload an MP3. The other thing we can do is we can add music. So if we come into here and we choose one of the music files. And you can listen to all the different files that you have here. And of course, if any of those uh, are what you like, then we can leave that in there. So uh, we'll just close that out. And now, of course, before we export this, we can preview the whole thing. And we can come right back to the beginning here, meet Emma, and we'll hit preview. Okay, and you can see your file there. Once we're done with that, all we have to do is hit create video. And once we're in here, we can just choose the location we want the video to go, the video size, the video quality, and then hit start export or open video folder if we want to see other videos that are in the folder. So that's how you create your video from a slide. Hope this helps. And of course, in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about whiteboard videos.